Welcome. In this Java tutorial, we'll learn about arrays. Let's start by thinking about what a variable is. A variable is like a container. It can store a primitive type like an int, or an object type like a string. However, it can only hold one value at a time. Now we introduce arrays, which are like a container with separate compartments. This would be considered an array of size 3 because it's got three compartments. We identify each compartment with an index number. Arrays in Java and most languages start at 0, so the indexes of this array go from 0 to 2. Each of the compartments can hold a different value of the same data type. Let's think of a time when using an array would be more efficient. Suppose we wanted to write a program that tracked how many runs each team scored in a baseball game. For a standard length game of 9 innings, we'd have 9 variables for the home team and 9 for the visitor. This is doable, but it's a lot of variables to keep track of. If we used arrays, we could have one array for the home team, with one index for each inning, and another array for the visiting team. It's a lot more efficient to program and debug. Let's look at two ways we can create arrays. We can declare the variable type, add a set of square brackets to indicate an array, and then the variable name. Next, we initialize it to a new, whatever data type, and then the number of indexes inside square brackets. This could also be done on two lines, where we declared the variable on one line and initialized it on the next. An array is an object, even if it is storing primitive data types like ints. Like with all object types in Java, the stack memory holds the variable name and a pointer to an object. The object itself is stored in heap memory. These values will default to zero because it is an int array. If it were a double array, they would default to 0, 0.0. If it were a Boolean array, they would default to false. If it were any type of object array, the values would default to null. The second way to create an array starts off the same. However, we are going to initialize it to a set of hard-coded values. This array is size 4 because it has four elements separated by commas with curly brackets at the beginning and the end. Let's change a value inside the array. If we want to modify data in the array, we do so as with any other variable, except not only do we specify the variable name, but we also specify the index we want to change. This command changes the value in index 2 of the array x is pointing at to 12. Let's look at another line of code. This changes y, index 4, to 21. We start counting at 0, so in an array of size 4, there is no index 4. We get an index out of bounds exception, and the program crashes. This line of code will print out whatever value is in y, index 1. In this case, it's 5. Other techniques that we'll learn in future lessons will allow us to traverse the entire array and retrieve or modify data in each index. To keep learning, click on the next video, or the whole Java playlist. See you in the next video.